In March of 2023, we took an eight-day cruise on the Norwegian getaway out of New York City. And here's a glimpse into our life on board the ship. All right, here's the ship. It's the getaway. Looks out over New York City. There's the aircraft carrier. And there's the cockpit. That's the submarine. Sailing out of New York was a really cool experience. We parked at the port and hopped on board and got these incredible views of the New York City skyline. After setting sail, it was time to explore the ship. So let's go check it out. This is the Garden Cafe. Stop in here for a snack or a full meal. There are tons of options and lots of seating available. Now let's head outside. Here is your main pool area and it's overlooked by some water slides. Lots of seating. Even though it was a cloudy day, everyone seemed to be enjoying the pool or jacuzzis. Here we have the sun deck. This is situated at the top of the ship, so it has a great view all around. It's a good place to come if you wanna just read a book and have some quiet time or lay out in the sun.
This is Vibe Beach Club. It's an adults only private area. You can book a day pass with guest services, but spots fill up very quickly. You can go to guest services and it is $99 a day. I tried to get a little overview so you can see inside. There are comfy chairs, cold towels, and a quieter environment. We did try to book this on one of our sea days, but it was already full. So if you're interested, definitely book as soon as you get on the ship as spots fill up fast. Spice H2O is a bit different. It's usually pretty noisy and it gets really crowded, but it's also a lot of fun. This is where you'll find people meeting up for drinks with friends, hanging out by the pool for the day, and then you can stay for a movie at night. This was one of our favorite places on the ship and I think we came here every single day. There's a bar, a small wading pool, and great seating as long as you get here early in the day. There are two jacuzzis on either side of the movie screen and those are very popular and have a great view of the ocean. If you're looking for some shade, there are comfy Adirondack chairs underneath this awning right outside the American Diner. Now we're going to check out the ropes course. They've got a smaller ropes course on the bottom for little kids, which is pretty cute. I tried my hand at it and it was really fun and definitely challenging. An employee ended up coming over and showing me how it was done. He was awesome and so encouraging and gave me the confidence to try this myself. The view up here was spectacular, but I did end up getting nervous again and an employee came over and gave me a boost of confidence as well as his harness to hang on to. The crew made this a better experience than if I had done it on my own. So if you're on the fence, definitely try it out. They'll help you along the way and you'll have a lot of fun. There's also a sports court where you can play basketball and soccer. While you're outside, you can take your pick of water slides. And if you have smaller children with you, there's a kid's pool with a really fun pirate theme. And for teens, there's a lounge called Entourage for 13 to 17 year olds. And whether you're young or young at heart, there is always the arcade.
Great. Moving back outside to another favorite spot of ours, the waterfront. Out here, you will find al fresco dining for some of the restaurants on board. This deck was a favorite of ours to see some beautiful sunsets. It's also a really cool place to come at night to see all lit up and grab yourself a comfy seat and just listen to the ocean. This is Oceans, a great option 24 seven. So you can get breakfast, lunch, dinner, or snacks throughout the day. It's got a great atmosphere and really good people watching. The bar up here wraps around the lower atrium so you can grab a drink and sit and people watch or listen to presentations on this large screen. Now on this lower level, you can find the internet cafe, more seating in front of the screen, guest services and shore excursions. And just down the hall is the Illusionarium. This is a really cool place to come check out. I'm not sure what kind of events they hosted inside, but the hallways themselves are very entertaining. So I took a peek inside. I think they were doing a scavenger hunt, but walking around was really entertaining. And right here, we are overlooking La Bistro. We're just outside the casino. And this also overlooks the comedy club headliners. And the level above the casino has some bars and lounges. If you're looking to dance the night away, here's a look inside Bliss Nightclub. Then when you're ready to turn in for the night, here's a tour of room 12449. This was an inside stateroom. We had plenty of space, lots of storage options, a comfortable bed, and it also featured two bunk beds. The bathroom is a great size for an interior stateroom and the shower was pretty spacious. And the closet featured plenty of hangers, shelving, and a light so you could see inside. Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Norwegian Getaway. We'll see you in our next video.